In this video, I'm going to share with you the secret to getting more jobs as a beginner in data entry on Upwork. So one of the main problems that beginners have in data entry on Upwork is that you don't understand what clients care about. And so when you're doing your proposals, when you're writing your profile, you're putting too much emphasis on the wrong things instead of really focusing on conveying to the clients that you do deliver the most important things that they're looking for. Think about it. As a data entry professional for most of your clients, it doesn't really matter who does the data entry. entry data entry is simple work that almost anyone can do. The only thing they care about is that you're going to do it reliably and that you're going to deliver them a good experience. That means that you're going to be available and that means that you're going to do what you're told and that they can expect from you reliable results. So one of the ways you convey that you're going to notice here's a list of top rated data entry professionals. I want you to just look at their profile pictures. So what you're going to notice is that in data entry, there's a lot of um, people who are succeeding with profile pictures that have a uh, very professional classic um uh, clothing, you know, such as the classic vest and, and, you know, white shirt with tie and that sort of thing. You know, as you can see here, you can clearly notice that Hassan here has a classic vest. He has a classic style um, f um, haircut and even the photo is a traditional style. And you're going to notice that there's a lot more of those in fields like data science where clients are mostly looking for reliable work and the people that they can depend on to do as they are told and do what is expected of them. And, you know, the, the classic professional look, which is that look with, that, that everyone's seen, the way that um, in America, our, our lawyers, our uh, real estate agents are, are all clothing in the same way. And that's because this classic professional look conveys the fact that I can expect from that professional that they are going to follow the code, the code of conduct, the, the, the follow my, my expectations of what professionalism means in, in the broader culture. So when you're clothing yourself and you're presenting yourself with this sort of, of you, you, you're clothing that way, you're, you're having that sort of haircut and you're, you have a classic professional angle of your photo and background and everything, the way they've seen it before, they can expect you to behave the way that the people whom they associate with that sort of look behave, which is professional reliable and no problems going to be encountered. So you give exactly the good impression for a person looking for reliability because the thing is you don't want to start trying to stand out by saying that you're the best or that sort of thing because for your clients that that really doesn't really matter and not it doesn't matter nearly as much as whether or not you are going to be honest and are going to just do as you're told and follow the instructions and do do everything without giving them problems and also when you're doing your profile and your communication another thing that you need to convey if you can and if you're willing to offer that is the fact that you are very open to communication and that you are available for them whenever they need you and this is also a benefit that you can give them that allows them to to want to choose you over other people and and when you build your 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 profiles one of the ways that you can make it so that people want to work with you specifically and not other people is by finding these advantages that you have over other people and focusing on them. And what I recommend is if you build your, your, your actual profile that you focus on one or two advantages that you have over other people, keep it simple so that clients can, can really make the calculations in their minds about who they want to hire and who they don't want to hire. If you have too many advantages, it just becomes maybe a little bit complicated. But for them, if you just focus on two things, that's really simple. And it's, it works better with uh, the way they, they emotionally decide on, on which one they, they want to work with. So maybe you could do fast messaging 24-7 uh, available, or maybe not 24-7, but you understand like 
really available. And also one other thing that maybe you could focus on if this is one of your uh, skills is just conveying the fact that you're really good in English and your English ability is actually probably going to be more important in this career than um, your actual competence as a data entry professional at, at, at actually data entry itself um, because you know you're gonna have clients who are going to be a lot less frustrated and annoyed at, at the communication side and they're gonna trust you a lot more if they know that you're really good at English and that you understand everything that they say in all their instructions so focus on that focus on building a profile and uh, proposals where you convey advantages that you have over other people and the way that you present yourself should be in a way that, that looks very classic and classic professional in your pictures and also uh, make sure that you convey the fact that you are reliable both in, in, in the way that you present yourself in, in your picture but also in your uh, text on your profile and in your proposals push that point because reliability uh, is the number one factor that clients are looking for uh, in data entry. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you want more videos on how to be successful on Upwork, subscribe and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care.